All right, now let's use this sensor, this is invariant sensor 2, to close the gate in a similar way, such that when I come in front of the sensor, the gate will open, which is, which is happening. When I cross this path, the gate should close. This gate should close automatically, all right? So for that, I'm going to use this sensor. This is infrared sensor 2, all right? Now let's remove this bit. This is not required as of now. So, okay, let's close the door just to start the simulation over over again. So I'm just using it last time to close the door. Okay, so this door is getting closed. Um, yeah, this is closed. Okay, so now let's use the sensor function to close the door. I don't need this one anymore. So now you have infrared sensor 2. This is the sensor 2. Again, what I'll take, I will not take rising edge here. I'll tell you the reason because suppose this, if the car is coming, so wait, first you'll have the rising edge of the sensor 1 then you have if I take the rising edge of sensor 2 maybe chances are the car will stop so the gate will start closing it will start close getting closed so it will it may damage the car so this is I'm talking about the real sense in the real environment so I'll use the falling edge falling edge means when the car passed the sensor then the pulse will go to the gate to close it not when the, when the car sends this when the sensor sends the car or some or any other vehicle so I'll be using the falling edge here. So I'll tell you why. I'll explain you during this video. So let's take a falling trigger. This is the falling trigger. That's the okay. That's the falling trigger. Now similarly, I have to use this another function, RS function. So I'll take it from here. I'll connect this output of this one to RS function. Now this is the gate close bit. This will be connected to out of RS function. And now similarly, we have another sensor here which says when the gate is closed, okay? So when the gate is closed, we have to, this is, so you can see that this is closed and this is on. We have to reset this block. We have to reset the close command, okay? This will make, really make good sense. Now let's see the trial of this program. Let's go out, open the door, log it here, go outside and let's get ourselves detected, all right? So yeah, now this will open the door. And you can see the simulation in a very interactive way. Now what will happen? If I go in front of the second sensor, okay, if I just stay there, nothing will happen. This is the falling edge. Okay, nothing will happen. This will not give the pulse. This will give the pulse when I pass across the sensor. Because now the sensor is on, the, the door is not given the command to close. It will be given when I passed across the sensor like this. Now it will be closed. So I'm safe. Alright, so let's see that again. I'll go outside and I'll get myself detected. This will open the door and when I passed across the door, this will be closed. Alright, when I pass this one, now it's getting closed. So this was about latching and unlatching the gate based on the infrared sensors to open and close the door. I hope this is very interesting. You can try that in your home ion connector software and you can make your own circuits. All right, you can play around with any bits. You can use your own source bits to see how this works. All right, if, any, if you have any query regarding this circuit, you can pop me a question. Thank you.